So we are working with Google Earth Pro, a standalone application for desktop computers, available for PC, Mac, and Linux, but not available for uh, Android devices and table PCs, uh, table computers. So you uh, must have desktop computer to install it and to work with it. Uh, and this is an example of a, a little bit more advanced uh, desktop uh, geographic information system, desktop JS. And as every JS, uh, it also allows you to edit, to create your own data, to edit them, to export and import them. And we will now learn how to create uh, your data and save it in KMA format. So this is the uh, Lake Samhar, the largest lake of India. So we are now located in, uh, in space, we are located in India. So, and in this example, I will, uh, just, I will just show you how to uh, create your own spatial data here using Google Earth Pro. It is a very similar uh, to creating the data with uh, Google Map, Google My Maps. But uh, here the tools for editing the data is even, even more advanced, I would say, a bit. Uh, also, you, as is in, as basically in every JS, you could create your open data uh, as a point, as a lines, and as a closed contour for polygon as a polygon. So let us just, for example, start with uh, adding point data. You could add a place, what is called here, place mark. As you click it, uh, you will get the image. Uh, the window with uh, some information with properties of this, uh, your place mark, your point. So you could, if you would like, you could move it and locate it to some particular area. You could just move it visually, or you could uh, select latitude and longitude. As you could see, it is latitude and longitude in uh, degrees, minutes, and seconds. You could also do it uh, in uh, decimal degrees, but you would just have uh, make changes in, in settings software, software. So you could give some, uh, some other name to it, uh, to it your point, like Lake Dump Car, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, my ETM collection somehow, excuse me, if I'm going to make some mistake. Uh, like some part. Uh, and also you could change the uh, mark. For example, you could choose something else. Uh, like for example, this blue star. And you could just click OK and save it. So you will see that your object appeared in the list of your data in the left panel. In not but not in layers, but in what is called places in temporary places. You could move it to my places if you would like to somehow keep it for longer time, uh, or you could uh, leave it here in temporary places. Uh, and if you would like to change something, you could just come back, right click it and come to properties and then you could edit it again. You could adjust the location or you could change the name or change the uh, way uh, the mark it was presented in the map uh, and so on. You could change the color and do other adjustment if you would like. Uh, also you could if you would like, uh, you could uh, let us also try to create polygons like we have done it previously in Google Maps. As you click it, you will also have a window with, with properties. Uh, for example, let us, you could zoom in and out, of course, when 
from the polygons, for example, we would like to uh, delineate this uh, artificial area. I believe it is a self conduction area, uh, somehow as a self length. And so it, it could be used for reduce itself. I believe this is what we're looking for, looking at. Um, uh, and here you could also use your cursor, uh, just starting to draw in the line. You could click once, you will see one point, click another time, you will see the line between your points, and you will see the third time, and you will see the polygon drawing. So, well, your last point will be connected with your starting point. If you would like still to look the area behind your contour, you have to change the style. I would let us give some name to it. South induction area, for example. Uh, area. And you could uh, go to another tab, change the style and color. I would recommend you to, as you are working with satellite imagery, to use only outline it polygons, so you will see what is behind it. But also, uh, I would I would think that uh, some thicker line will be better visible. Something like that, and also you could change color in that gray background, some yellow or a blue line would, would be visible the best, I think. Uh, but do not click OK unless you finish. Of course, you, you could. You could finish editing. And this uh, the object will appear also in temporary placing. But you any time could come back for editing and continue editing. But uh, one thing you should notify about uh, editing polygons in, in that Google Earth Pro. Uh, as you see, among these three points, three nodes of these polygons, only one is blue. So if you will click uh, in any place next time, the new point will be added prior to the selected one. So you could take it, you could move the point if you would like. Also, you could add the point. If you could just add it somewhere, it will be added next to where previously selected. But if you have selected some, some another point, you will add your point only here. To your draw, select draw. So if you would like to add more points here, you have to just click and make blue select uh, the point uh, closest to, to your new location. And then you could click again and continue making, improving your corporal, making it more precise, more accurate. So also you could zoom in and out and you could adjust some point if you would like to, to place them more accurately. You could zoom out and find we, for example, would like to add some point here. We'd like to adjust it a little bit, and so on and so forth. With a view, we could zoom in and out. So you have, as you will finish editing, you can just click OK, and your counter will be created. Also important that, uh, as in Google Maps, and in virtually in any other uh, JS system, JPEG information system, you could save your editing uh, as a KML file, as an exchange data format. Uh, for this, you, you have to right click on your object. On, actually, you could uh, export a group of objects at once, like all temporary places. You could save together, but let us save only, only that we want to. Uh, and select the save place as. And we will save your place, your actual object, control, a point, a line. You could choose save it in KML or KMZ. For example, I will save it in KML. 
uh, and by default maybe it will be the same, so production error, save it, and then you will see it in, in your project. And also, as uh, we did previously, we could open it also in Google Maps. We could go again to uh, Google My Maps, your places, and maps. And uh, example, we could create a new map or add it to your some of your previous maps. And here you could just import it to a new layer and you could add layer and then if you will select this uh, canal you saved, it will be uploaded and you will see it on the map. And you could see this is the correct area. Uh, by the way, here is another another name for this weight. Uh, the Indian local engine name is different in some part, it seems. And also, you could change the uh, background for satellite imagery. And you will see the self production area which we delineated in uh, Google Earth Pro. And this data is also available here in Google Maps. You can share it on the maps to share with it. So we have just learned also how to draw and take it your uh, lines of points of polygons in Google Earth Pro. It is a little bit more advanced system, but basically it has the same functionality. Uh, but you could keep more data here. And it is more easy here to edit data, to combine them together into a single uh, special data sets and what's important I could remember that we could use this short historical images functions to travel the satellite images over time and to see how well it looked like some years ago. For example, you could see that one of the south pen was established recently and did not uh, exist in 2009, for example. Uh, so this, this is why we prefer to use this Google Earth Pro and later on we will also learn some more advanced functions of it. Thank you.